Hello, YouTubers. It's me once again, RKO2582. About to do my TLC pay per view predictions for this Sunday night, or in other words, for tomorrow night. Uh, I cannot wait to do this and roll the intro. Alright you guys, once again, like I said, WWE TLC pay-per-view is tomorrow night, this Sunday, and we have six matches on the card, so let's run them down. First match, uh, I might as well get this one out the way, is Triple H versus Kevin Nash in a sledgehammer ladder match. I'm pretty much like most people with this, I'm, I'm kind of going to have my fingers crossed with this one, because... As you know, I mean, with Kevin Nash and Triple H, we all know about the relationship between these two guys, I mean, with the click and all that good stuff, but Nash realizing that Triple H is starting to, in, in his mind, thinking he's acting more of a boss than his homie, you know what I'm saying? So pretty much this is going to be a fight between two bros, you know what I'm saying? So, but like I said, with the match itself, I'm, I'm going to have my fingers crossed because I'm, cause I'm, I'm not going to have too much faith in this match because... I understand Triple H can make a good match because he's, he's Triple H, he's the King of Kings, but, you know, with Kevin Nash's condition, you know, with him being, um, 50s and Triple H is and younger in this point, but, but it's just like, I'm just hoping that they'll make it work because I'm like, with the looks of it, I'm, I'm not going to have too much hope with this, but if I had to choose a winner, I want, uh, Triple H to get the win, but something, something tells me Nash is going to sneak one in. And probably um, continue on this going into the Royal Rumble next year. Because cause if you want my take on I think they should have waited until the Royal Rumble to face off with each other. But but anyways, like I said, I want Triple H for the win. Alright, next match. Oh yeah. I've been waiting for this for a while. Dolph Ziggler show off. The U.S. Champion going up against Woo Woo Woo. Long Island I see Zack Ryder, you know it, finally, after months and months of these two, you know, beefing on each other, I know even with them invading each other's, you know, internet time, especially Ziggler, I know, and I know it's like Zack Ryder has been working so damn hard this year just to get this match alone, I mean, he has been busting his ass since God knows how long, and then Dolph Ziggler pretty much been the um the U.S. champ for pretty much for the rest of this year, pretty much since late June of this summer up to right now. So it's like, and it like I said, it finally comes down to this. And with this, I'm I, it's obvious that I'm going to back woo 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 Zack Ryder in this one all the way, and instead of Dolph Ziggler with his catchphrase later marks, it's gonna be. Woo, 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 you know it, and take care, spike your hair. Once again, Zack Ryder for the win, and new U.S. Champion. Ha! Alright, next match that I'm also looking forward to is Cody Rhodes <laughs> against Bata, 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 WCW Champion. Put the T for the Intercontinental Championship. As you already know, I have, I mean, as much as I am a huge, huge, huge Cody Rhodes fan, this is coming from me. I don't know if the old school in me, but I have not been a fan of Cody Rhodes' actions as a late towards the book man. You feel me? And Booker T has been just patiently, patiently ignoring this, but he realized he can't walk away from this. Oh, no. He has to go in there and show that he can bring it to Cody Rhodes. And and it's funny that this all started, you know, it, way back when Cody Rhodes was still under the the undash game when he was doing the bad. I just knew I just knew when Booker T was getting pissed and pissed and pissed it started to grow and it finally unleashed. And I and I know this will be a good match because we all know Booker T I have no doubt that he will make this awesome. He's in good in ring shape. If you don't believe me, 
uh, go look back at the Royal Rumble 2012. I mean, this year. Sorry. Yeah, but like I said, as all right, who I want to win this match, you know, I'm gonna be behind Booker T all the way in this one. And I know, like I, I'll put you this way. In my heart, I want Booker T to kind of get the win. But in my head, I'm thinking that, that Cody Rhodes is going to once again still be your Intercontinental Champion. So that's how I see it with this match. Alright, now we get on to the chairs match for the World Heavyweight Championship. You had the Big Show against the World's Strongest Man, Mark motherfucking Henry, the Hall of Pain. And like I've said, they've been pretty much been feuding since, you know, vengeance up to right now. And the last match they had Survivor Series was just, and eh, it, it got good towards, you know, the end. But like this, I'm hoping after this match that Mark Henry or, or, or Big Show, but I think Mark Henry is going to win this one, will get a new opponent because it's just, it's, it's time for Mark Henry to get a new opponent. It's just like... This, this is like Big Show's third chance, I know, at the world title. So, I'm hope. I mean, you already know I'm not a big Mark Henry fan, but I've been impressed with his run as world champion. And you already know I'm not a huge Big Show fan either. But, well, there are times I kind of like him, but, you know, you, know, you get my dress. But, but anyways, I'm hoping this chairs match will make that match a little more interesting than the one they had at Survivor Series last month. So, I know they're going to go crazy with the chairs after what we just saw this past Friday on SmackDown with Martin Henry going H on the chair. It's like you said, expect the unexpected. So, I'm pushing. So, I see Martin Henry once again still being World Heavyweight Champion. And from the looks of it, like most people are thinking that he might care about going into May. We'll see. Alright. Next match is Randy Orton against Wade Barrett in a tables match. Um, as you know, Wade Barrett has been owning and owning Randy Orton. Hard to believe, right? Wade Barrett has been just screwing Randy Orton. He he beat him in a um singles match on SmackDown. His his team won at um Survivor Series last month. It's like like I said, Wade Barrett is living up to what he said. The Barrett Barrage is here to stay. And it's making Randy Orton question if he can beat him. But, but in Orton fashion, he's thinking, like, I got him right where I want him. But we'll see tomorrow night. And the list of it, I don't know who I, who's going to win this. But but I think Randy Orton's going to redeem himself tomorrow night. Because, I mean, Randy Orton has been losing as of late, which is surprising. Because this is the Randy Orton. He doesn't lose. But it, it, it's been happening, so hey, strange things have happened as of late, so once again, I'm pretty much seeing Randy Orton coming out on top tomorrow night, and now we get on to the main event with The Miz Awesome against Alberto Del Rio, and my boy, the WWE Champion, best in the world, CM Punk. For the WWE Championship in the first time in a Triple Threat TLC match. And as you know, CM Punk just beat, beat Del Rio last month at Survivor Series. Yes! And, and like CM Punk said, he wants to make it well known that he wants to make this, the WWE Championship, in his words, interesting again. And I believe him. And I hope so. And, you know, Miz and Del Rio are former WWE champs, so they know what it's like to taste this championship right here. So, I, I have no doubt that this match will steal the show. Along with Cody Rhodes, Booker T, and I guess Ziggler and Ryder, too. So, those are my top three matches I'm looking forward to on this card. And, with that match, I cannot wait to see what spots and stuff and, um... The pull off, so I mean, once and I pretty much know who's gonna win. Best in the world, CM Punk for the win. I cannot wait for this, man. I'm gonna cheer my heart out, and I'm hoping and praying Christmas I get what I want. WWE shop. I really hope I get that that CM Punk T-shirt I've been wanting. So I'm praying this one, praying, praying, praying. All right, um, I ran down all the matches, but I want to give a little brief, you know, about you know John Cena. As you know, John Cena is not even on the pay-per-view card. But does this mean Cena's going to have 
something to do? Is he, is he going to have a match, maybe? Is he going to deal with Kane tomorrow night? Because we all know what happened at this past Monday on Raw when Kane took Cena out with the choke slam. Man, so many questions. But we'll see tomorrow night at TLC. Anyways, this is your boy once again, RKO2582, signing off. Best in the world.